Coming up today on Good Things Utah, Dancing Under the Stars. Learn how local and professional dancers are teaming up to fight against cancer. And creamy, cheesy, and really easy. Get the recipe for Crock-Pot Mac and Cheese. Then make over your home for fall. See five ways you can add a little autumn decor for the season ahead. And it's the first ever GTU eating contest. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> See who's tummy tough enough to win and how you can get in on all the fun. Ew. And it all starts right now on Good Things Utah. Welcome to Good Things Utah. Thank you for watching. Do you two know what today is? Well, today I'm sitting in at the table. Well, you so are, and we're glad you're here. It's Friday. Anything, is there anything else Special happening? Not today? just any Friday. It is High Five Friday. Oh. Jay, oh. you need to get in here. Where's our fair oh. floor director? <laughs> Hello. Right. We can always count on Jay to brighten up our end of the week. We can yes. also always count on Brian Carlson. Thank I you for being that. here no, with Nisha Cant. Nisha's off. She's watching her daughter here this morning do a little fun, you know, the first week of school, dancing and stuff like that. So it's a very special day. She's got to be there. Oh, well, and I'm excited because hopefully she's taking a video of it and she'll talk about it on Monday. So we all get to feel like we were there too. You can also always find her on social media and hopefully she's putting it up there too. But it was a big deal for Natalie today, but it's a good Friday and it's been a good week. I know I haven't mm. been here since Monday, so if you <laughs> are trying you to catch up <laughs> on what's been going on on Good Things Utah, here's a little highlight reel. to go to jail for just a couple of days. No, you don't. Have what you, it was like. Is it a jail? Yes. Well, I would, as a reporter, I would go interview those people yeah. all the time. And you want to thing. go to jail? Yeah. I always say a dream is a wish your heart makes. Like, isn't it such a That's a busy land. I gotta hurry and finish because I'm drifting out to sea. <laughs> on the paddleboard. Ken, thank you so much. And the other one down on the ground to push. Wait, on the ground? Yep, so this one. Oh. Yep, and like that. Oh. And now you'll push to get going and then you'll put it back on the back. <laughs> What's the typical way you put on mascara? What is your face doing when you use the wand? I think I think my mouth's open. My yeah. mouth is always open. It should it's be possible not to. Right? Because okay, so I had this really, really crazy dream. It was like it was kind of about, about cannibalism, like in my dream. Oh my god! I know, Let's get into so that. Awful. That's no. pretty like hard. Like, is I'm there anyone tough. besides me who doesn't think Allie would last five minutes? Oh, did she say I'm? Hot? The only reason I ever want to go to jail is when I I'm scared I'm going to overeat and I want someone to lock me up. <laughs> Wasn't he? Mm -hmm. I forgot that was this week. It seems yeah. like it was a long time ago. Well, there's a lot of things that happened this week. It had a kind of a nice, kind of chill kind of feel to it, didn't it? We just yes. kind of mm -hmm. eased into it there a little bit. Uh, Allie said she wanted to go to prison, <laughs> which we all know is never okay, going to happen. Go Do you know any way she real. can get there? Let us know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You went the last two go seconds. To prison, okay? I wanted to go to jail. There's a difference. Right. Oh. Which is there's so much is, nicer in prison. Prison is where they're like convicted. Jail is where they're just waiting trial. And right, I only right. want to go there three. And days. those people who go to jail never end up going to prison. <laughs> Never ever, probably. Mm -hmm. All right, well, if you are planning on going shopping this weekend, that's what I usually do. Mm -hmm. um, not jail. I, not jail. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have some tips for you, and I'm, I, this, these, these are pretty good, actually. I feel like I always spend so much money on the weekends. Yeah. And so. I believe that. There are some psychological tricks that you can teach yourself. To not spend to the not money. To not spend all that money. So number one, this mm -hmm. might surprise you, Bri, and I don't know how this would work with you, but wear high heels. Did Brian, you know? You would, you would only like spend no money because you'd walk right back to your car. I feel like. It's yeah, I don't think I would last very long walking around <laughs> in high heels. Is that the idea? So, so your feet hurt? You the, don't want to do it very not often. Not quite. That could be, but the uh -huh. ability to balance the body right on those stiletto heels actually leads to better buying. That's mm -hmm. because, according to a research study out of BYU, pretty recently over the last couple of years, it shows that. 
physically balancing your body leads to more balanced choices. So people chose like a mid-grade option as opposed to like a higher end price or a really low end price. They see, spent kind of in the middle. I would think the opposite. You see someone who's walking around in high heels at the mall, normally you think they're spending a lot, mm -hmm. right? Because they're just in the mood to spend. Why I would just, you, like, I feel why, like why? that they're person fancier. who's, if they're buying oh, yeah, high they, heels yeah. walking in the mall, they're probably <laughs> spending a lot of money Naturally. too. I wonder if that would work at the grocery store. Like if you wore high heels to the grocery store, would you make more balanced yes. choices? Yes, so they the tested that. And oh, they that really was, did? Was, yes, they did, that was one of the things. So wear high heels. Got a new plan. Okay, number two, use new bills. So according to research um, out of the Journal of Consumer Research, people prefer crisp new cash as opposed to the wilted dirty old bills. And so they don't want to part with the latter, right? So oh. they, they want to hang on to their good bills. Like they're less good likely good. to spend I them like if, they're, if they're nice and crisp. So what I think is great about that and also kind of goes into it is when I'm actually using cash instead of a card, you're usually spending less too because you're realizing how much money is going out. When yeah, you it's can a card, you, you're yeah. like, okay, so That is so you know? true. But when you're using cash, I've tried so many times to mm -hmm. just use a cash budget. Swipe, swipe. It'll oh, no, last for at least it. one outing <laughs> uh -huh. of the day. <laughs> All right, yeah. number three, limit the stores that you go to. So according to Forbes.com, um, it's it's interesting. You, you subconsciously think that you deserve a reward if you've put in a lot of legwork. So if you've been spending all day shopping, you're more likely to go at the end of the day, okay, I deserve something. I've been working really hard. I've been shopping all day. I need something <laughs> out of this. this. I've earned this. I, yeah. I've earned this, yeah. yeah. So so limit the amount of stores. Just say, I'm only going to three stores this weekend or whatever your number is. And then last but not least, don't go crazy hunting for bargains. It sounds kind of counterintuitive, but um, this can backfire. When you feel like you've saved money on gifts for others, it's common for you you to then want to treat yourself and you end up spending more money than you would have in the first place. Mm -hmm. I get it. So right, don't shop the sales. You're just saying, look, I saved all this money and now I get another treat. You yes. know, I get another reward for getting that. And you so. feel like you deserve it again. Mm -hmm. So anyway, some tips for you. I hope that you're not all spending tips. all your money. I probably will this weekend. I'm hosting a baby shower and I feel like I have a lot to buy. <laughs> so I'm going to try to <laughs> That's keep these in mind. You should have a report on Monday, see how much you spent. I know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll talk bring in the receipts. <laughs> Here's something that's a good thing to be spending money on. And a viral challenge I can actually get behind. I love this. Have you guys seen hashtag tip the bill? I no, haven't no, seen I've it. Seen, you mean you uh, people spending a lot of money on the, on the tip? Yeah, so what they're okay. doing is tipping the actual bill. So if your bill's $12, you tip $12. Oh, so you're doubling oh, so what you're yeah. spending. Whatever it is, Gosh. that's what you're tipping. Well, that would make a so server's day. Yeah. yeah, and that's what they're saying. And the servers are really saying what a difference this is making in their life. I love that we have one of the servers, because it's mainly the servers that are putting these things up on Instagram, not the people actually leaving the tips, which also shows the humility of the people that are leaving these amazing tips. But she says, huge shout out to the couple that participate in the Tip the Bill Challenge. Truly made my entire day. And that's what they're saying is... If someone tips more than even 50% of the bill, it goes a long way, not just financially, but also mentally. I mean, think of how hard the servers are working. I've never worked in that industry. Have you guys? I've done it. Yes, you've I done have. it? Yeah. I have. Mm -hmm. I, feel like I, I feel like you'd get good tips. I could. I mean, I did okay. Uh -huh. you know I mean, it was people were always either really annoyed with me. Well, or I see Brian also really sitting at the table the with them. Like somehow he's at our that table today. Too. He slides in. He's like, "Hey guys, how you doing?" <laughs> lots, of, <laughs> lots of guys didn't like it as much because Brian was leaving with their date. Probably uh -huh. is that what was, happened. That's but how they got Because they out. always love the guy who's waiting at the table. That's the guy that they're leaving with. <laughs> Well, when uh -huh. he's charming, he was, yeah, oh, it's fine. I think. That, it would work. I think it could work. Uh -huh. But so they're talking about <laughs> normally they say 20%. If there's good service, you're going to tip 20%. But if you're tipping 50% or even tipping the entire bill, that's making a huge difference in people's lives. Well, especially now, if you have like a, like a tip or you have a bill that's like $3.87. Yeah, yeah oh, what yeah. do you tip? 30 cents? No. You got to um, tip like five bucks. Cents? I've, yeah. I've tipped a dollar before though. You have. Which maybe How I much shouldn't was the do bill? that. Well, when it was like, like three, like that. you know yeah. what I mean? Right. And my thing is, do you guys tip when you get takeout? No. Because that's no. something that my husband's cousin worked at Chili's Takeout, and she said, you don't realize they're working hard to get the stuff for you, and they're but making I think they're getting paid. They're, they're getting, getting paid a little yeah. bit more, but not, but not significantly. Not the waiters. Them a lot more. Yeah. So yeah. I don't always that tip 20% there. Also, when you're buying something like at, and they give you the iPad lately, yes. and it's like, would you like to leave an additional tip? And you're like looking in their eyes, and you're like, 
<laughs> and you're really clicking no? Okay. And then you they know immediately. take the survey. They and know you're like, immediately. Five stars, five stars, yeah. five stars. Good so, job. Okay. Something well you could be doing right now, though, and I challenge you to do this this weekend, is hashtag tip the bill. Speaking and I of saving it. money. <laughs> Speaking of saving money, save it from that and give it save to someone it from this and give it to it. somebody else. Right? Really needs it. What I thought was interesting also is one more um, little Twitter comment that someone had is they said, you know what would be cool? if restaurants paid servers enough to live instead of shifting business expenses onto the consumer. Well, that's what they do in Europe, and I like it mm -hmm. so really? much better. You go out to a restaurant in wherever, and they, you they don't- expect tip, that's mm -hmm. right. No, I mean, you can tip a little bit, like maybe mm -hmm. a euro or something, mm -hmm. but not much. They don't expect a tip because they're getting paid well, and they just, that's not how it works there. But so, how do you think we could know. shift that in America at this point? I kind of feel know. like I mean, we everyone's can't. so used like, to making $2.18 how... and, yeah. and then relying on those tips. Yeah. I think there'd be a little bit of a revolt from people. I mean, who doesn't want to make more money, obviously? Yeah. But that relying on those tips is the main way of getting money is a lot better to me than relying on whatever the paycheck's going to be. Right. Because you can rely on people who are doing this kind of thing to be able to give you some extra cash. And it's more in your control. You're going to work right. harder and get better service because you're actually doing that. Yes. I do know in Europe. Yeah. Yes. They're kind of gone for a really long time. Mm -hmm. You're like, where is our and server? They, that's so and it doesn't right. matter because they aren't basing their finances on the tip. They so can check I on you like, like once throughout the month. I feel like also the restaurant owners right now in America, these small businesses, it'd be hard for them to pay more going out. I don't feel like they're being greedy. I just think that's what they've gone with. Well, here's something else you have control over too. And I really appreciate this about both of you because when we're here at the table, we're really kind of close quarters like this. Mm -hmm. And neither one of you smell. So oh. well, we I appreciate good. that. Really? Mm -hmm. My hair hasn't been washed in like four days. Oh, really? You're pulling on Michelle money? Mm -hmm. it looks good, though. It's, it, I my think husband, it's okay. My husband told me it smelled, but I'm, you're so nice. But I'm I can't so smell very well. Okay, that's good. Well, for those of you who do have an issue with this, I want to help you out because apparently there are some people who need to be told if they smell funny. And so we have a couple of ideas here for you to kind of help clean up your act if you're one of those dirty <laughs> offenders. These 12-year-old boys. <laughs> There's a lot of those, I'm sure, who probably need some of these tips. So the idea is that if you kind of smell or you kind of do a self-check, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's some simple things you can do that we all kind of sometimes forget. And the first one is, how often do you wash your towel? Oh, well, yes. here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I only use a towel mm -hmm. once. And I one know time, that's, that's bad it. for the environment. Yes. Okay. You because really then don't. I don't know if it's left out, if my kids are going to use it, and who knows what they're using it for. Mm -hmm. And I use my so, yeah, towels and we've probably. got lots of towels. Four times. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I use my towel. Well, but right. my so thing you're is supposed to put it out about a week. A week. So okay. A week. That's okay. it. But that's there's a couple other okay. things here too, like flossing you, before you brush. <laughs> there's like you want to make sure you trim your nose hairs. Wait, hold on. You're supposed to brush and then floss in that order. I thought you were supposed to floss and then brush. Brushing and flossing. Apparently, let me just kind of read through this. Hold on, because Two. I believe yeah, we, we gotta may have right? got to clarify. Floss before Wait, brush. Wait, okay. Rapunzel. Ignore what you see and just rely on what With you hear. With the nose and yeah, don't yeah. Try, don't let your nose hair get so long that Rapunzel is going to start braiding it. Right. Uh, the idea is you want to trim your nose and your ears Ew, here. Yeah. Clean your earwax out as well. And My then gosh, the last one, which I really like, is how often do you wash your bum? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Wait. Well, are you not washing your bum? What? Well. Wait. Um, I, well, like, well, well, well. I, feel like we I need take details. showers, but from what, top what you, to bottom, apparently we've got a dirty birdie like, over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna slide over here, Jess. <laughs> You're so rude. You're so. <laughs> all, I'm, rude. all I'm saying is like the, the encouragement if you're not trying to be smelly is to wash your bum. So you're taking you a implicated yourself. and you're like a loofa. Uh, what are they called? Loofah. Loofah. What'd you say? A, a boofla. A boofla. I feel like this is going on next Friday's highlight reel. <laughs> you bet it is. <laughs> We've already so, got but you're saying like, it you're right now. A spongy thing that <laughs> makes Oofla. bubbles. You're saying rub it on your cheeks. Like what are you saying? Yeah, what part of you your bum? You gotta use something to clean your bum. But what part of it your bum? It ain't just right? the air. All right, we need to wrap this nope. up before it just uh -huh. goes a whole oh. other direction. Already got took south. a hard left um. turn. All right, thank you, Brian. Uh -huh. Coming up next on Good Things Utah, get ready for a night of watching the pros on the dance floor. Some names you know and love are here to talk dancing under the stars. That's my favorite event of the summer. And a professional competitive eater is putting. Us to the test. Get ready for the first ever GTU eating contest. Plus, say goodbye to the stark white room. Learn how to add a splash of color to your home decor this fall. But first, here's a peek at what's coming up on the rest of the show, including some cheesy and delicious crockpot mac and cheese at 929. It's the
Doug Smith Subaru, Utah County's exclusive Subaru retailer. The Midday Team, today at 11.